Weather conditions in the area left residents on high alert. Stay tuned for details. It's time for your Vicksburg Daily News Brief, brought to you by your friends at Cook Tractor Company. Now's the perfect time to check out the complete line of zero turns at Cook Tractor Company on Highway 80. Visit them online at cooktractorco.com or give them a call today at 601-TRACTOR. As stormy conditions moved into our area earlier today, some residents found themselves without power. Not only residents, but the retail giant Walmart also lost power, which caused issues forcing the store to close. People trying to get in. The store is closed right now. They had a power outage and then took out the computers. And uh, here at the store level, they don't know how long it's going to be until they come back up. But uh, for the immediate future, you should anticipate that Walmart will be closed and will stay closed until you get further notice. Shortly after 10 a.m., high winds took down a tree and knocked out power lines in the 2000 block of Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. The debris left the roadway impassable. It's pretty consistent with what we're seeing uh, across Warren County and, and the city of Vicksburg. We've got sustained winds between 25 and 30 miles an hour with wind gusts higher than that. Uh, this will deteriorate in the next several hours. Uh, I anticipate uh, the weather uh, National Weather Service issuing some warnings here shortly. At around 10.50 a.m., the National Weather Service issued a tornado watch for Warren County, which remained in effect until 6 p.m. Luckily, no reports of tornadoes touched down in our area. The weather did manage to create some hazardous driving conditions. Earlier this afternoon, several crashes were reported on Interstate 20 in the area known as the Bovina Triangle. Within 10 minutes, three separate crash incidents occurred due to hydroplaning and losing control of the vehicle. None of the crashes were reported to be serious. For more information on these events, check out our website at vicksburgnews.com. Vicksburg High School softball team took a tough 15-10 loss last night to Yazoo County. They'll play again next week on Tuesday when they host Lloyd Star. The Bears are now the YMCA Junior Prep Girls Champions after an undefeated 7-0 season. The team is coached by Carolyn Bradley, who has now won her second championship. Jackson State University football signing Travis Hunter Jr. has now signed an NIL deal with the Mississippi Coffee Company. He, along with many other players from JSU, have now signed a lot of endorsement deals since playing for Deion Sanders, who won the SWAC championship in 2021. Good evening, Vicksburg. Tomorrow's going to be partly sunny with the high near 51 and the low near 30 degrees. Saturday will be sunny with the high near 61 and the low near 35. And Sunday will be mostly sunny with the high near 68 and the low near 53 degrees. There were no birthdays reported today, but we know you're having them. Happy birthday to you if you're having a birthday. And don't forget to email them to us at birthdaysatvicksburgnews.com. This has been your Vicksburg Daily News Briefing, and thank you for listening.